Now listen to this. I don't know if you saw when you were outside, we got a thing and it's been out there all week and frankly it's driving me crazy because it's right outside my window on Broadway and I come to work Monday and there's this thing and I thought, well, you know, people are trying to get me. Well, I have that feeling. <laughs> I get that. You know why I have that feeling? Why? Because that's what the voices in my head tell me. <laughs> people are trying to uh -huh. get you. But here's the thing. Can you turn on the uh, camera in my office? Let's see the camera in my office. Yeah. Okay, that's the uh, thing you looked at. It's right across Broadway, and that's uh, like a cable, and it's uh, 11 stories up, 12 stories up above Broadway, and uh, so that's been out there all week, and it's like a, a thing, a, a cable, a high wire stretched from that building across Broadway. Right across there, Broadway. There, there it is. Yeah, that's exactly right, what I'm talking right about. Right across you see, Broadway. You look down, and, that, and that's Broadway. And, Very high up. Yeah, and you say to yourself, well, why... Why is that up there? And, and I, you know, my answer is, well, people are trying to get me. Yes, that's... <laughs> Look at this. It's this guy right here. Do you remember, I don't know if you remember when this happened. Were you in New York when this took place, Paul? I, I remember. This I... man uh, stretched a cable between the tw towers of the World Trade Center, wow. and he uh, walked across, this was in 1974, yes. and his name is uh, Philippe Petit, right there. Yeah. And tonight... Uh, shortly, he will be walking across uh, Broadway. Now, right out really? there. Yes, right outside the Ed Sullivan Theater building. Nice. So, well, that's amazing. And and when and when they when they did this, the uh, the World Trade Center had only been open, I think, a few months, and uh, the top the very top part of it, they were still doing a bit of construction. And he and his buddies uh, sneaked up in there, and they were able to rig it overnight. They stretched this uh, cable by shooting a, a bow and arrow with some fishing line, yeah, <laughs> and tied tied to the arrow with some fishing line, and then tied to the fishing line was a larger rope, and tied to the rope was the I guess the actual cable, and the guys on the other tower were then able to stretch the cable across there, and then when the sun came up, he started walking back and forth yeah. across this uh, yeah. wire. Now, what, what I don't understand is that's a much bigger undertaking down there than he's doing here. But here, they've been setting this thing up for like a week and a half outside my... <laughs> Why is that? I, I don't know. And, and every day, there's guys out there checking it. There's, they're always out there, and they're making sure that it's tight, and they got uh, wind indicators, and... It'll be an incline. He's actually going uh, up a little bit. He's oh. walking uh, from the 12th floor of the 1700 Broadway building to the 14th floor of the Ed Sullivan Theater building, so that's uh, two stories uh, yeah. up. And uh, departure point is 100, 160 feet above uh, street level. Arrival point is 184 feet above street level. 120 feet across Broadway. Uh, Philippe will be walking on a 7 8 of an inch uh, diameter steel cable about the same size uh, as a, uh, somebody's thumb. Well, yeah, I guess so. But it's a, it's a t And last night, I called him. I mentioned that he was a daredevil. Well, he's, he's not. He's not a daredevil. What Although is, you would think, for me, if I did that, I'd say you'd have you'd take a daredevil to, to do. But he's not a daredevil. He's, also, he's not a stuntman. Okay. He's an artiste. Of course. And, and what we're going to be watching is a, a piece of art. Yes. A, a piece of uh, a kinetic... Kinetic art, yes. Exactly. Yes. You took the words right out of my mouth. Well, not quite, but... but so, anyway. so that's... And he'll uh, be we're doing that uh, later on in the program. That'll be so something. That'll be... And, and, and plus, now it's raining, so at the last minute, if he feels like it's not right, he won't do it. And that'll be fine with us, because, you know... Uh, he, and then we'll get a daredevil to come in, and he'll do it. Oh, he... No, but we won't. No, but... No, that's... that's... <laughs> That's not right. Uh, Philippe Petit is uh, 53 years old, grew up in Paris, France. I would have guessed, yeah. Uh, <laughs> major performances. He, he uh, did an illegal walk at the Notre Dame Cathedral. This walk, by the way, is completely legal. This but, is legal? Yeah, the one he did at the World uh, Trade Towers in 74, that was illegal. Illegal, yeah. Uh, Sydney Harbor Bridge, illegal. Um, Louisiana Superdome, walk for opening of largest covered stadium. I would guess that was legal. Eiffel Tower, doesn't say whether that was legal or not. Uh, Tokyo's, uh, yeah, they've been all over the world doing this. That's the, uh, the little uh, apron over there on the uh, 1700 Broadway building across the street from us on Broadway. And uh, that's uh, Philippe Petit getting ready, and he's going to walk up that wire to the Ed Sullivan Theater building. And I guess, is he about ready to go? I just hope to God he crosses with the light, because it's dangerous enough... <laughs> You see what I'm saying? I understand. All right. So I'm, I'm going to introduce him, and then I guess we just turn on the camera and we watch him uh, make the, his way across on that uh, cable okay. to our uh, building. Our next guest is a world-renowned high-wire artist and the author of this uh, new book. We've looked at it earlier this evening, entitled To Reach the Clouds, and it contains 
uh, truly some majestic, breathtaking photos. And uh, now, crossing Broadway on a steel cable more than a dozen stories up, please welcome Philippe Petit. <laughs> Job. How was it? Uh, how was it for you? Was it uh, difficult? Was it easy? Was it fun? All of those things? It was wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, the rain is hiding the wind, mm -hmm. and the wind is the enemy of the wire walker. So, in a sense, I was happy it was raining. Plus, I'm a New Yorker. A little bit of rain doesn't stop us. Uh, good for you. Now, could could you have done that? Could you have done that without the, the bar? You need the bar for no, extra the, balance? You know, the balancing pole is not what those little toys that balance by themselves mm. is. It's an extension of your arm. We humans are too fragile to go over a volcano, under the sea, on a high wire, so we need an extension of the arms. But something else was helping me to cross, and it's the wonderful music of oh. my friend Paul Schaefer. Nice. Thank you. It was beautiful. Duke Ellington. It was lovely. He requested Duke Ellington for that. Uh, this, uh, we were talking about the, uh, the book earlier, and I was surprised in uh, looking through the book to learn, and m maybe I have this incorrectly, but there is no existing film or videotape of you uh, crossing uh, the wire between the towers. Is that true? Well, that's a cruel question. It was hurting me at the time. I wanted a live footage of at right. least my first crossing. And somehow, um, my friend, who was a photographer, took a few snapshots. Mm -hmm. When he took the 16-millimeter camera, the cops already were on both towers. 
So uh, there is no record, but somehow the, the poet that I am loves that. I did something incredible. People who were there remember, and there is no proof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you do have a, a series of very, very uh, dramatic and majestic photographs of the event in, in the book. It's a, it's a lovely collection and quite an accomplishment that you look back on now. Yes, yes, it, it shows everybody that when you have a dream, you should hold on to that dream and you should think that mountain can be moved and that the word impossible should be erased from your vocabulary. I'm sure in your case it is. Yes. Now, <laughs> um, we're going we're gonna to leave the cable up and tomorrow night I'm going to try it. <laughs> okay, All that's right? what we call a crash course in <laughs> equilibrium. But I see you as somebody on the tightrope every night, so you'll do very well. Oh, well, God bless you. <laughs> nice to have you here. It was a lovely thing to see. Thank you very much. Philippe Petit, everybody. We'll be right back.